A few months back we could see the first airless basketball. The airless basketball is designed to replace the old school balls or at least it is a prototype too. We could already see some testing on the channels like 3D Nerd and Uncle Jesse where they have tested a few materials but none of them have tested a material like this. This is going to be PVB. If you don't know what PVB is, PVB is a filament that looks and prints like PLA. The only thing that is going to be different is that the filament that you are using can be smoothed with alcohol. You can see right over here, these things are super shiny. You can put them in a machine like this. This is the polisher from Polymaker itself, only these things are too big. These have been smoothed in a machine that is going to be released really soon. So the way this is going to work, we have printed a couple of balls. So we have printed them just regularly, straight out of the machine, not smoothed at all. And we are going to do a drop test. And after that, we are going to smooth the balls just like these. These are both smoothed in my own mega smoother. And we are going to see what the effects are going to be from balls that are smoothed and balls that are not smoothed. But where would be a great location to test those things out? Three days later. So guys, we have smoothed the balls. We have two balls that are super smooth and we have one that is not smoothed. Now, what is uh, going to happen in your opinion? I think they'll bounce. They both or uh, only the ones that got smoothed? So I think, uh, how many days ago did you... About four days. So this is still days. very flexible. So I guess yeah, it's uh, like a dead blow on the floor. <laughs> but this one actually hardens pretty well. Yeah. Uh, so maybe we can start with the non-smoothed because I have a little bit of a doubt that it is going to make it. Now, interestingly, I have asked the public what is going to happen and apparently 75% of you guys think this is going to be an epic fail. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the first one, not smoothed, massive epic fail. Uh, yeah, I'm holding my heart that this one uh, <laughs> is going to bounce or not. Maybe just drop it first. Okay. Ready? Oh, it bounced. We have something. <laughs> <laughs> so we can see that in uh, the one that is a lot thinner, that is a little bit bouncy, but we also know that this is because of the alcohol smoothing we did. Yes. That there is still some alcohol in it, giving it some uh, plastic plasticity. Or yeah, the alcohol is uh, working as a plasticizer and yeah. that softens material, but that alcohol will evaporate out and it yeah. will re-harden to a fully So like we just have state. seen, if we drop this one, it acts a bit like a TPU one, but this one bounced. So we already did one successful bounce. Let's do it another time. Yeah, so this is actually sounding and feeling like an actual ball. Yeah. Now, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I think that is going <laughs> to be very interesting. Okay. Let's have a try, shall Let's we? Let's take it up. <laughs> Literally, Half uh, a house higher. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's about uh, well, four, four and a half meters. Yeah, we can still see its little brother uh, broken in pieces. Now I'm going to give you the honor to drop this one. Okay. To no. see if this is going to do anything at all. all so right. uh, yeah, we'll give it its best Let's chance. Cross our fingers. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, and oh. it broke, but it still bounced, it bounced a little bit. It bounced a little bit. Yeah. Let's uh, have a look at it. Right? Okay. <laughs> it did bounce a little bit. <laughs> Definitely bounced. There was yeah. a. A small uh, snap though, it just heard. Yeah, we definitely broke something. Definitely heard a crack. <laughs> so we have tested the ball and the conclusion is... Well, it bounces at a normal height. Yeah. But if you drop it from four and a half meters, you're going to get a few cracks. Yeah, so it cracked uh, around some seam. So do you think this is going to be a layer line? Or is this more just straight from the impact? I have a feeling that this is the part where it bounced on the ground. Probably. Yeah, I think it, it, if you look closely, it's broken uh, not not along the layer line. So each angle of the break is, yeah, is yeah, different. Yeah. It's very random. You can see right here that it is definitely multiple layers that broke. But what we can try and do is, is put some alcohol back into these cracks. And try to re-glue it. Get some tape and then just bring it back together. Yeah. And I think we can fix it. Maybe we can do that. Yeah, absolutely. Now this is the ball we dropped before. And here we can definitely see that the print uh, failed on the layer lines. You can see a clear uh, snap where the la layers were. So we can definitely see also that smoothing your print is doing something because mm. this ball actually has a color change in it. We used two colors. We used the yellow and the green, of course. And the print didn't break on the color change. And most of the times a color change is definitely going to weaken your prints. So 
I think this is a great result. Yeah, and if you want to make two fruit, bowl, fruit bowls, then... There you go. <laughs> Not waste anymore. <laughs> now it's a nicely designed fruit bowl. <laughs> so we have done all the testing and we can see that the regular PVB ball is actually pretty easy to break when you drop it, but the smoothed balls actually performed not that bad. It did break, however, from four meters. I don't think that the original Eros ball would break from four meters, but it was really interesting to see that if you are going to smooth the PVB, then you will get some extra very nice properties. So we get superb layer adhesion. We don't have breaks that are going to be uh, linked to layer lines. So it is really awesome to see what is going to happen when you smooth something like this. This is probably going to be the same if you do ABS smoothing. This is just a very non-toxic way of doing it. Another thing we could see is that this ball was very soft. Well, right now we are a few months later. This ball is actually not soft anymore and it fully hardened out. The only thing we have to do is also drop this ball after a few months now it's fully hard to see what is going to happen to this smaller ball. So this smaller ball is actually a lot finer than this ball. So we can see we actually have a very thick structure of the ball. Now the one that we scaled down is actually a lot thinner and maybe we get a better performance out of it. So now as a final test, I'm going to drop this ball that has hardened out completely on the floor and see what is going to happen. This ball is freaking unbreakable. So it really looks like we have actually a ball that is absolutely working. It is freaking bouncing. So I have bounced this ball more than I can remember and still this ball is super intact. We don't have any breaks. We still have the dance from the time that we have tested the plasticity, but now the plasticity is gone and we have a finer structure. We can actually see that this ball is completely bouncing from the floor. So we can see that the actual design of the ball is impacting the results that we are getting. So this is a very thick ball. We have a very thick structure of the filament. We have a very thick connecting structure in this ball and maybe it is too thick and that's maybe the reason that it broke. Now this little thing is the same ball, it is only scaled down, so everything scaled down. Also the thickness of this material has scaled down. And even now I can still bounce this freaking ball without too much effort. <laughs> It doesn't break. I can just smack it as hard as I want. This ball keeps. Yeah. <laughs> this ball just keeps bouncing back. This is just amazing. So, so this means that the design of this ball is actually pretty important. And this is something probably that the official ball um, is doing right getting a thin structure, not too thick, and then using a material that is very between flexible and sturdy. We could see in the results from uh, 3D Printing Nerd and from Uncle Jesse that materials that are super hard are going to bounce really good and that materials that are not uh, very hard and more on the TPU side are more going to act like a dead blow. It looks that PVB is something in between and I think that if we would scale this one up with the very thin structure, we actually have a ball that works. So guys, that is going to be it. Uh, I'm just going to keep bouncing this ball. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you are interested in the Mega Smoother, then make sure to subscribe and let Polymaker know in the video of the Mega Smoother that you are interested in the Mega Smoother and maybe we can come up with something to help you guys out. Maybe a kit or something. But for right now, I'm just absolutely amazed about this PVB ball. <laughs> it is just keeping bouncing. All right. That is going to be it. Guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.